Okay, this is just a little demo of some of the things that you can do using CSS and the uh, Ajax utilities that are included in uh, Project Wonder. These are uh, text fields that are uh, surrounded with Ajax update containers and then also use Ajax observe field. Uh, it also uses the effect highlight feature of Scriptaculous so that when you change the value in the field you'll see when we leave the field the field is highlighted to provide feedback to the user to show that uh, the update is taking place. Also since it's wrapped in a uh, update field it will show uh, the uh, formatted value if there is one uh, for the field. So in this case we have a date field that's using a date formatter and when we leave the Michael, simple uh, one, two, uh, Michael, one, two, text that was imported will be updated to show the formatted value. See the zero is now in front of the number. This is a simple report that uh, uses tabs to select between different views. And we'll see here as we change tabs, we'll get a little progress indicator in the corner uh, providing feedback to the user that uh, the report is running. So if we click on the tab, you'll see a little progress indicator in the corner over here of the tab. And the report inside the tab is in an Ajax update container. It's automatically going to uh, you know, change the uh, contents of the report. This report lets you sort on different criteria. We'll see as we change criteria, uh, the filter button will be disabled and then there'll be a little waiting indicator while the report is running. So we'll put some filter criteria in here. And then when we hit enter, the filter button will be disabled. And then you'll see a little progress indicator too. So we'll hit enter. It's real quick. The report runs fast, but kind of shows uh, some of the stuff you can do. And then the report is in an update container too, so that the just that area is refreshed. This uh, is a little project management package I wrote that uses uh, Ajax sortable list to be able to allow you to reorder tasks. So you can click and drag and drop and the task will be reordered. And I use a subclass of the Ajax sortable list that lets you use multiple lists. So in this case, you're able to drag from one list to the other. And you can see you also use CSS to allow you to, that, to automatically cross the task out when the uh, task is dragged to the completed list. And you can drag it back and then it's, it's open. And this is a combination of Ajax and CSS. I have little context menus so as you drag your mouse over uh, special fields. Uh, that use Java uh, annotations to provide information regarding the nature of the field. And you'll see there's a little context menu that appears with special commands that are particular to the uh, entity that uh, is actually behind the uh, uh, behind the word in this case. So we use CSS to automatically show little context menus here. This particular report, um, which is a feature that I have in my, I've built in my code, uh, allows you to have little document handles, look like little documents, and there's a clipboard. And this uses Ajax drag and drop and update container to let you drag these handles to the clipboard. And then when you let go, it uh, registers in the droppable, and then the update container uh, refreshes to show the contents of the uh, drop document in the, in the clipboard. This is a file system I constructed. Uh, it lets you do all kinds of things and uses a combination of CSS, JavaScript, and an awful lot of Ajax 
magic. So you can right click in an area and create a new folder. And then you can right click on the folder. It uses an Ajax in place editor to change the name. So you can change the name right in line. You can change a description. That's an Ajax in place editor too. Um, resize the update container, or the in place editor rather. We can put stuff in there. Hit OK. Let's you also drag files into folders. And if we click on the folder now, we'll see the, the pictures in there. It also uses a little uh, hack that I put together to allow you to drag clickable objects. So in this case, um, we just dragged that picture, this picture, or copied this picture into the folder. But then if we click on the picture two, um, it'll actually open it. So here we can now click on it, and then it'll download the picture and uh, open it. So that shows that you know you can. That's just highlighting this thing where you can drag, and it doesn't register as a click. And then when you click on it, it registers as a click. Uh, it also uses the clipboard feature that I showed you before, so that you can drag files to the clipboard, let go, and then they'll appear down there. That's the same draggable. It's a different draggable, same droppable, and then there's code in there to you know change the context to display the uh, the proper string there. This is a component I made. It uses a bunch of different uh, Ajax uh, update links, Ajax update containers, and Ajax sortables. In this case, it's for general ledger account and group maintenance. Um, over here, we have uh, all of the particular groups for the general ledger. And by uh, we can reorder them. And then the updated order is reflected over here. We can also expand and collapse groups. Those are all using Ajax update links and Ajax update containers. So That's pretty much it. Uh, just kind of a short tour of some of the things that you can do with the Project Wonder Ajax package and some CSS and JavaScript. You can have a real interactive, uh, easy to use, uh, user-friendly uh, program with all the great stuff that comes along with web objects. That's it.